Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today I'm gonna to get back to work on setting up my equipment shed to efficiently store all of my tractor attachments and chainsaws and all the stuff I use to work out here. So, if you've been watching the channel, you know I built this custom shelf that is specifically sized for housing my front end attachments. Then over here, we have the gas and diesel fuel pumps and the mower deck stored on top of that. And then down at that end, I built a setup for all the three-point attachments. I've also dug a trench between this building and my main shop and buried electrical conduit. And I'm in the process of wiring this building up so that I have some motion sensor lights and a couple plug-ins for battery maintainers and small stuff like that. So today, I'm going to get back to work on that project. I've got some random stuff kind of thrown in here in the way. We'll get that all cleared out. I'm going to get my tractor cab doors hung on this side. I think I'll hang the chainsaws and shovels and all those kinds of tools over here. And then if I have time, I might build one of the custom pallets I'm going to make for my three-point attachments. The first one I need to do is the box blade. Putting it on a regular pallet doesn't work very well. So I'm going to build a pallet that's the exact right configuration for storing that on and hauling it with. But Anyway, I've got about five hours to see what I can get done in here, so let's get started. This one should be really easy. I've already mounted these doors once on that wall, then realized they weren't going to work right there because of my new shelf. So I just have to take these setups I've already built and put them up on this wall. So just screw these to the wall and then I'll have to get these lined up so that the two pins are exactly parallel with each other and the door will slide on easily. While I'm putting these up, I'll just show you what they are. I got these hinge pins. I requested those from Curtis and then I had them welded to these plates. Top hole is fixed. The bottom hole has a slot so that I can pivot it just enough and then all I do is slide the the doors onto those pins. The only trick at all to installing these is getting the bottom pin to line up with the top one. That's only a one-time issue, and this, this time it hit right on the first try. So, probably couldn't do that again. All right, so my solution to keep these from banging around, especially in the wind, is I put a hook in between the two doors, and then I've got this adjustable bungee cord that I put through the door handles and then into the hook. We'll drill a little hole. And the reason that I'm doing it this way, I guess primarily, is because I had some screw-in eyes and I have some adjustable hooks. So, made it really convenient just to use what I already have. Okay, so, hook that one there. Come through this handle. And hook the other one. So, doors are mounted. Now I need to get the chainsaws hung up, so I'm going to put my Artillion wall mount tool system on this wall right here. That will hold two of the chainsaws, then I'll mount the third one on the wall separately. Alright, so now we're going to put up this Artillion modular tool system, the wall mount section. So I have two of the wall mount sections. One's going right here, one stays mounted to my carry-all, and then I have the one that mounts on the tractor. Once I've got all these different holders that go on the rack, might as well have a couple of racks in different places for a little bit more versatility. So these go on real simple. You just screw this to the wall, and then you put the bar on it, and there's a cap that goes on.
I tell you what, I feel for all of you people out there who struggle with back pain because you can think you've got all your plans made, but it can set you down just like that. I've I've been having a rough week with it and I'm just grateful I don't deal with it all the time because the last two days I've got up with a plan to do a project and came out and started and just wasn't able to do it. I'm trying to keep myself active but it's a struggle so anyway I've got this toolbox put up here. I said I was going to put a couple of the chainsaw holders up here but I don't think I want to do that because I have those on the tractor quite a bit. I think I'll put stuff up here for now that I don't use as much. I usually use the smaller toolbox, so I'm going to put the bigger toolbox up here. And then I'm going to put the bucket holder up here. And then I'll hang the chainsaws over to the side so that I have a second option. If this rack's full, I can hang the chainsaws there. If I have some of this stuff on the tractor, I can put the chainsaw racks up here, so we'll do it that way for today. Alright, let's get those chainsaws mounted. Alright, well, it's actually the next day because I stopped for a minute and I was going to move this pile of wood and I tweaked my back a little bit again. I've really been struggling with my back and so I just called it yesterday, we're going to get back to it today. I was getting ready to hang these chainsaws up. These are really simple and inexpensive. I think four or five dollars at the hardware store. They just screw in, should easily hold the weight of a chainsaw. And I got them that were long enough to let the body of the saw space out from the wall. So we'll put a couple of these up right here. I think this spacing on these wall boards will work out pretty good for the length of the bar so that I can hang two of them right here and still be able to reach them and not have them banging up against anything. And then, haven't decided yet where to put the third one. I was thinking about hanging some of the tools on this wall back here, but as soon as the new building comes in, this area here is going to be built into shelving for more three-point attachments. So I don't want to use this wall because then I'd have to take anything I put there would have to come back down. Alright, so this is hanging alright, but I think I'll put a strap around it to this post just to keep it from banging around when it's windy because obviously one side of this is going to remain open at least for now. So that got the 500i here. I'm going to put the 250 above it. Then I think I could put the 391 right here. And as long as I put that strap around them, they shouldn't bang into each other. Alright, so we'll finish it off with the 391 right here. Alright, now I think I'm going to hang my good ladder right over here. And then hand tools next to that. Probably put the Granberg mill over here too. Love this little giant ladder, really versatile. I think it can go 10 foot high as an A-frame ladder or like 18 to 20 foot as a straight ladder. That's a pretty heavy screw. I don't think those are going anywhere. I think I'm legally required to say that's not going anywhere whenever I mount something. It's like a dad rule, right? All 
All right, that seems like an improvement. All right, so I'm gonna use this toolbox right here to keep all my chainsaw wedges, scrunches, extra chains, chains that need sharpened. I've got my steel two-in-one sharpeners here. All that will go in this toolbox here. Then I realized I had two shovels and two rock rakes out here, which is unnecessary. These should actually go on my mowing trailer. And um, that allows me to have no duplicates out here if I hang the pickaxe and this dethatcher. So this is the carry-all from the giveaway. And I just haven't worked out a day with the guy who won it for me to drive up there. But hopefully we get that done soon. For today, I'm gonna to put it up on this shelf. I'm also gonna put this uh, snow plow still in the box on the shelf. Then that will basically have this area cleared out. First thing I have to do is get this stack of lumber off of the pallet forks. That's the lumber we're gonna to use to build pallets for the three-point attachments. So I'll get some runners to put under that and we'll set it on one of my skids over here. I still need to figure out a good storage location for these suitcase weights, but not right now because I actually need some ballast on here. So I'm gonna put them back on the tractor. Next time I work out here, I'll probably find a way to store these more efficiently. These are the 42 pound suitcase weights and I can put eight of them on this heavy hitch bracket. All right, so the only thing in the way right now is the carry-all. Let's get that moved real quick.
All right, so it's been almost exactly a year since I got this tractor. And I've spent most of that year wishing I could get all of my attachments into this shed or anywhere under cover. And it just hasn't been possible. But I'm getting really close right now. I'm getting ready to trade in that snow plow and the one I put up here will set in that spot. Then the box blade can go right there. The only thing left would be the bush hog. And when the new building's set up, the bush hog will be stored here and we'll actually still have quite a bit of room to add more storage at that point. I'm still waiting, I think another three weeks because there was a delay, it's gonna be another three weeks before I get my wood chipper. And I'll be able to get that in here too. The only hold up right now is that until we get the new building, we store our plywood right here, which we're actually out today. We'll get another shipment of plywood in Monday. But I feel like I made a lot of progress today. The most exciting thing to me is that my back's recovered just enough that I can do a small job like this. So we're going to a baseball tournament this weekend. I'll try to get some rest. And hopefully by next week I can get back to these stump grinding jobs and I've got a driveway, actually two driveway repair jobs that I need to get to. And the big one I'm excited about is digging some trench down here to the pond. But anyway, I'm making progress. I got a little bit done today. This has really been bothering me having this area mess. So it feels nice to have it mostly organized. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.